I, I always find, you want to start the day out right? Start the day out right for me, check my blood pressure. There's a fly on my thumb. Why is there a fly on my thumb? That probably raised my blood pressure because it was exercise. <laughs> Okay, Rachel, so. Jonathan. We've known each other for how long? 15 years? Mm, 17. 17 years. Mm -hmm. We started working together in the recruiting space. We did. Once we launched Titus Talent Strategies, you got to help out with the healthcare. So we have a really growing healthcare team where we're supporting, um, whether it be clinics or it be hospital systems. It wasn't that you had this rich medical background at that point that you do now. It was just you had a passion for it. I did a passion for medicine? Yes. I did. One of the things that I loved about working for Titus, even in comparison to working for corporate recruiting, was it was so oriented towards people. Which is why where Titus is going is, is so, I love it. Now you have a vision of a company that's not just, let's find the best way to get people jobs and get them in positions. But you have a situation where it's, let's help transform people into holistic beings within that. Yes. Who can then um, go into communities or go into a global atmosphere yeah. and begin to spread that beyond. The cool thing is too, is if you've actually taken the time to develop a holistic person who has that insight, you're gonna have somebody who isn't just fueled by the idea of like, I'm just here to be a blessing, I'm so great, but you've, you've developed a person who's here to say, I recognize that I'm a piece of the puzzle. Yes. And the person in this community, this person who may have been marginalized and written off, who hasn't lived in a house in, under a roof for two years or whatever the case may be, they have something for me to learn from. We're heading tomorrow to go meet with an organization in Southern California and they have a, a whole system of getting people out of homelessness and poverty. They've been thriving on their own and it is by actually causing revenue generation from the programs that they're running. huge decision we had to do. The government came down and said, you can't do this anymore. We're like, why? You have to let people use heroin and meth in your program. I'm not letting people tweak in my program. And they said, well, you got to give up all of your program money then. So we give it up five years ago. We gave it all back to the government. A national news source came in here and said, you're like the only ones that gave up all this money. And the dude that runs welfare for the country calls me one day. They want this program, dude, around the country now. We don't do shelters and, and programs that just give people stuff. It's about equipping them with the skills, knowledge, and resources that they, that they need to get yeah. out of this horrible Come on. condition. Yes. That, out of the cars, out of the tents. Yeah. Invest in them. They're human beings that are precious gems, man. Yeah. We invest in them. We raise them up. So since then, we've built over 300,000 square feet of real estate in seven cities here in North County. We now have over 600, 600 once homeless kids and their moms and dads in these places all over North County. We've been working at it. We've got other people helping Come us. Come on. So that's why, like, I gotta find some crazy ass Britain dude yeah. running Titus, yeah. right? That that's can right. Help us, right? Get the right people <laughs> in the right seat. <laughs> what is aquaponics? So check this out. It's the same as hydroponics, but it uses fish waste. So that yeah. the growing of fish and the growing of plants in a soilless system, when you combine the two, it cancels out all the negative toxins. So the fish are swimming around doing their thing, but then that water is nutrient rich and it feeds the plants. 5.30 a.m., moms and dads are getting up right here. Get up, suit up, show up, that's our shtick. They grow this best food in the world you can eat. It's yeah. the best food. It's like, like environmentally, it's superior to any kind of food you can grow. Their kids now are eating the food. We're selling the food in the marketplace, Come on. right? People or restaurants are buying the food. And the revenues that come from the farm go back in to help underwrite the lives of the people that are going through here. We lost about 30% of our business over two weeks and everybody was wondering if they're gonna lose their jobs. Everyone in my company will be inspired by this because it's what made us come out of last year. 
is what made every one of them push past 120% of their goals so that we'd have enough money to give into programs like this.